Hello, my name is Joe Beer, and I'm with Beer and & Associates. And today we're going to demonstrate high potting with our PD25 all-purpose utility phasing meter. Before we begin high potting, we first want to test the meter to make sure it's functioning properly. The first test is performed by turning the selector switch to the test switch position. This test checks approximately 90% of the circuitry within the PD25. You'll notice that the test switch position is a momentary position, so you must hold it there in order for it to display the battery voltage. This meter has 8.6 volts. The next test is what's considered a known voltage test. Since we know this three-phase pad mount is energized, and we touch the X2 and X3 bushing, we should get close to 208 volts. You can see from the meter display, we get 212 volts. So now we know this meter the second probe and the interconnect cable are all good. This is what we consider a 100% test. Since the PD25 is an extremely accurate true RMS phasing meter, we can actually use it to test the high pot adapter. Here we have it attached to the meter probe and we want to read approximately 70% of the voltage line to ground. The meter is displaying a little over 70 volts, so now we know the high pot adapter is good as well. We can begin high potting. All of our high potting demonstration will take place in our training yard between two three phase pad mounts. After testing the meter in high pot, we need to make sure we put the meter in the correct switch position. Since this is a 13.8 kV phase to ground pad mount transformer, the meter is put in the 20 kV switch position. With the primary de-energized cable to be tested, isolated and parked on the far end, isolated and parked on a feed-through bushing on the near end, insert the probe without the high pot into the feed-through bushing. It is important to remember the probe without the high pot is connected to the de-energized cable while the probe with the high pot is always connected to the energized source. Note the reading on the meter once the cable has had time to charge to the potential applied to it. The meter is displaying approximately 100 volts. This means the cable being tested has approximately 2 microamps of leakage. This would be considered a very good cable. If the reading on the meter were to stay high, this would indicate that the cable has a direct ground, and the reading would somewhat duplicate what we saw whenever we tested the high pot. If the reading on the meter were to oscillate between a high and a low reading, this would indicate that the cable actually is incurring a flashover every time it is attempted to be charged. This would also be considered a bad cable. If your utility would like to develop a pass-fail criteria, it's important to remember that on a PD25, every 100 volts is equal to 2 microamps of leakage. That way if a reading is higher, you can actually determine how much leakage a cable has. Since this cable was good and able to accept the full potential charge, we now need to discharge it. Again, remember we need to use the probe with the high pot connected to source, which is the energized cable. Take the second probe and touch it to ground. Notice the reading on the meter. It will spike high and then go to zero. Now the cable is safe to handle. Thank you for watching our high potting demonstration using our PD25 all-purpose utility phasing meter. If you have any questions you can call us at area code 803-786-4839 or you can email us at customer underscore service at beermeters.com. Thank you, and have a great day.